we talked about the why and some very important uh, parts about insurance. What was my main recommendation for insurance? Find an agent you trust, okay? Because they can either cover your backside or leave your backside um, exposed, okay? Because um, if insurance doesn't really uh, protect your assets, well then what good is it, okay? Um, let's just talk about the different types of insurance. We talked about home insurance before. I don't think we listed the different types of insurance before, have we? What? Okay, verbal, let's go through them real quick. Home? Auto, okay. That I'm probably gonna have you guys research tonight. Okay, we'll come back to that. What else? Life, okay. So maybe we can talk about life insurance today. There's different, a couple different types of life insurance. Okay, what else? Health, huge, huge issue in the United States right now. Health insurance, or do we have a right to health care? Or should we, is, is it a responsibility to provide ourselves with health care? I don't know. It's a good question. Okay. Renters. Oh, we did talk about renters. Good. There's tons of insurance you guys haven't mentioned yet. Dental. dental. Okay. Still tons. Let's go dental and vision. We'll do those together. What? No. Flood, okay. Come on, farmers. Crop insurance. Covers like hail, etc. Mostly hail. Okay. And again, this goes back to why do you need insurance on anything? Because can you financially, as a farmer, deal with not having a year's income? Maybe some people can, maybe some people can't, okay? But on the most part, no. Um, so you want insurance to maintain your income, okay? Disability. Disability insurance, that's, that's something that's really quite large. Um, Say, for example, if something happened to myself and I could no longer teach, I would get a check of some sort because I have what's called long-term disability, okay? And disability, we'll just talk about that real quick. There's short-term and long-term, okay? The difference between those two, short-term disability kicks in very quickly, okay? Um, and long-term disability takes a little bit longer. Um, <clears throat> like say, for example, I think our disability is set up that after 30 days of being incapacitated, um, I think, um, then, um, then it starts kicking in. And, it, and, and ours gives me two-thirds of gross income. I think it's gross. Uh, and maybe it might be net. I, I, I don't remember. Okay. So, <clears throat> say if um, Ben would really get mad at me and punch me in the throat hard enough that I couldn't speak anymore, uh, I probably couldn't teach. And then so, I would, besides suing Ben, <laughs> um, I would, um, you know, have, have that taken And actually, what's nice is, is as part of our um, benefit pack to your school, our long-term disability, or I think it's, I don't forget what it is, um, our disability um, is paid for us. It, it's a its a very cheap policy. I can kind of show you what it costs here real quick, or at least look it up. Very quickly, it won't take long. Long-term disability, and it goes back to um, the, the cost of the policy is based upon a couple things. The likelihood I'm going to file a claim and what my salary is. Okay? My long term disability policy is $26 a month. So, right there, you know, 300 bucks a year. Worth it? Is there a good chance that I'm going to be disabled? No. Okay? If there was a good chance I'd be disabled, that would be a lot more expensive. Okay? <coughs> Anything else? Well, 
one thing that I would like to talk about, you know, just as far as insurance goes. Um, no, not umbrella, umbrella. Okay. All of these are designed to protect your assets. Okay? Or if you want to say it this way, to cover your assets. Okay? <laughs> okay. What's an asset? Yeah, something I own. Something that I don't own, it's mine. It's mine. Okay? So for right now, say if like my house is paid off, I'm gonna care I'm gonna cover insurance I'm gonna carry insurance to protect my assets. Okay? And um, and one of the types of um, insurance liability. The liability insurance is sometimes built into some of these other things. Okay? Let's say for example, my homeowner's insurance has a liability portion. So say for example, if I have the track team over and Shannon comes over and um, and falls off my porch. Okay, say she breaks a leg. Well, um, her parents, even though they're good parents, okay, if they have if they have um, a large a large expenses, they might sue my insurance company for covering of those expenses because it happened on my property due to something where maybe I should have had a railing. There. Okay, liability covers damage you do to somebody else or somebody else's stuff. Okay? It's my liability. So, um, a lot of those things are built into a, a lot of these policies. Like auto, there's a liability, which we'll, we'll talk about tomorrow. Um, but umbrella policy. One thing that's nice about an umbrella policy is you've got to picture it this way. Home just covers your house only. Auto Maybe covers like a car or two. Um, life occur, uh, covers you. You know, health uh, you know covers everything. There's there might be gaps on different things. Okay, umbrella policy covers everything. So if you have an accident of some sort and it wasn't covered by any of your individual policies, your umbrella policy will then kick in. Okay, so it's an overarching policy that covers every all of your other policies. Okay, first of all, you know if you get in a car accident, your umbrella policy is not going to kick in. It's your car. It's it's your um it's your auto insurance. But let's say if maybe you exceed your auto insurance um, maximums, then your umbrella policy could kick in. It's just an added layer of protection. Umbrella policies, like on, on, I think right now we've got a $3 million umbrella policy. Okay? Now don't come over to my place and intentionally get hurt because you know I got $3 million worth of insurance. Okay? Yeah, I can see the gleam in your eye. Okay? Um, it's, it's really pretty inexpensive on the most part. You know, because a $3 million policy, I don't know what ours is, but um, you know, it's just an added safety net for anything that slips through the cracks. Does that make sense? Okay, so umbrella policy. How many of you guys, raise your hand if you ever heard of an umbrella policy before? When, where? Sweet's class. class. How did he explain it? Like kind of the same way? Okay. So a lot of this stuff you, you've seen before, right? Okay. Um, so, but uh, but some of you guys haven't. So my apologies if you're hearing <coughs> something again. Okay. But it's, it's interesting to get a different spin on it too. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, just my thoughts on a couple of these while I'm thinking about it. Um, dental vision. I don't know. I've got dental insurance, but I've never carried vision insurance, even though, you know, Wendy had contacts there for a while. Because, you know, if it's something you're going to use a lot, they've probably priced it high enough to kind of make it a wash anyway. Okay. But dental insurance, for somebody like myself who hasn't taken very good care of my teeth, if I have to do a crown and it costs 1200 bucks, it's nice to not have to pull that all out of pocket. Okay? 
um, renter's insurance. I forget who it was, but there's a past OC graduate that moved back for one summer, and I think the day after they moved back, somebody broke into their place and stole all their stuff. I want to say it was like Charlings or have you hear, heard of that? Okay, I don't know if renters if they had renters insurance in that case or not, but yeah, so that at least covers something. And like I said, it's very cheap. Um, life insurance. Let's talk about life insurance today. Okay. There's lots of different types of life insurance, but um, why life insurance? Why have life insurance? I, I've got two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of life insurance. Why? Okay, so, you know, to cover funeral expenses, that's one thing. And you can get just a policy that will just cover expense, funeral expenses only. Well, why do I have 250000 Okay, yeah, so, so a lot is just uh, for financial stability. stability. For the family, for remaining family members or something like that. Okay. Um, now, if especially if you have like home loans, etc. Okay. Imagine if I still like we were talking about home loans the other day. Imagine if I had a fifteen hundred dollar month house payment and suddenly my income is gone, and that's what Wendy earns a month, fifteen hundred dollars a month. Okay. So she could. Um, take some of that money and, and pay off something or or um, you know, but m mostly it's for lost income Okay Me personally I struggle with how much life insurance I should carry because we own our house. I don't have any kids um, And I think if I die Wendy gets my retirement anyway That's the way I've got it set up you can set it up one of two ways where like um, she is what's called you guys know what a beneficiary is a beneficiary is somebody who benefits from a policy of some sort okay so um, so when you have a life insurance policy you'd have to determine your beneficiaries okay my beneficiaries first would be my wife and then I think we just established like 50% to her parents and 50% to my parents if something happened to us beforehand well, it's really going to be interesting. This is why you should be nice to me, okay? Without kids, I'm looking for beneficiaries, <laughs> okay? So, you know, just keep that in mind. Like 40 years from now, when I'm old in a nursing home, you should come be nice to me, okay? Because I got no children, and I'm looking for somebody to give my house to, you know? So I'm just saying, you know, I just... Are you going to stay here? I have no idea. I, I can't tell you what I have no idea. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you know how many Mark Rex roads are there? And I think they'll probably still have internet then too. Um, no, I, I have no idea. No idea what's going to happen. Yeah, that's true. Hey, I I saw I was I was watching a video on YouTube the other day and I saw a guy make a car fly. He, he didn't survive the experience, but... <laughs> um, okay. The big thing about life insurance is there's two main parts. Term. There's two main types. Term life insurance or whole life. Those of you guys that have taken sweets class, have you talked about life insurance? <laughs> Yay! So I'm teaching you new stuff you haven't seen somewhere else. Term life insurance is um, let's see how can I how can I describe this? Um, it just covers for a period of time. Okay, while you are paying it. Okay. So, say for example, <clears throat> right now, life insurance for you guys, 
would be mega cheap because the chances you're going to die are quite low. Okay, my life insurance is more expensive. Okay, because I'm older. Okay, and I'm a male. Why are male? Why is male's life insurance more expensive than females? They die early. Their life expectancy is shorter. Okay. Um, so the one positive about term life insurance is, is it's cheap when you're young. Okay. What's one negative about it? Yeah, as as you get older, it gets you know prohibitively expensive, where it's it's almost impossible to carry it. Okay. So plus cheap when young. Okay. Minus is it's expensive. as you age and a big negative you guys probably don't understand has no cash value for most of them no cash value what does that mean well like when you pay auto insurance or your home insurance at the end of the year if you have no claims all the money you paid in disappears and that's just the way it is that's the cost of being covered Okay. Um, usually, I know there's a couple exceptions, but when you when you pay insurance and you pay it for five years and you have no claims, what do they give back to you at the, at the end of five years? Nothing. You were just covered for that period of time. Okay. So this has no cash value. In other words, at the end, you can't say, "Hey, give me some of that money back." Okay. Whole life. Okay. Um. <clears throat> that covers you your entire life. Okay? It's kind of paid up front, usually for five or ten years, and then you don't have to pay anymore. Okay? And it and it, so that so um, one thing though is when you're young, it's um, I'm trying to find a better word than more expensive, but um, more expensive than term. Okay. So here's the way this works. Okay. When I was 30, I could have bought a whole life policy. I would have paid it from when I was like say 30 to 40. And then I would never have to pay again. Okay? And that policy would cover me towards whenever. Every, every policy is different. Okay? How does that work? Well, what happens is the insurance company takes all that money and they invest that money. Okay, so they're hoping using their investment model that investment grows and grows and grows and grows and grows to cover whatever the value of the policy is when you die. And they're hoping that investment grows more than they pay you out later on. Okay, and let's say you get to um, you get to when you're 65 and you say, hey, I need some cash. This has a cash value. So whole life policy is more of an investment. Okay? It's more of an investment. But it's really not truly an investment because you might have a whole life policy that says, "Hey, this is a $500,000 whole life policy." And if you've only been paid on it paying on it for 2 years and you die, you're still going to get that amount. Now again, every policy is different. You have to find an agent you trust to kind of explain everything to you, but um, but I have a relative that um, <clears throat> in their family they had just signed somebody up for insurance policy. I don't know if it was whole life or term, and then actually months later they were diagnosed with a really nasty cancer and passed away. Okay, so that's a situation where what they paid in for premiums was a lot less than what they 
what the they um, the, what they got. So the insurance company lost money on that one, but on other cases they would maybe make a little bit more money. So it has cash value. So and and again, you always got to keep in mind how does the insurance company make money? They make money because they're receiving more money from you than they're paying out. Okay. So if it has some cash value, if you gave them say oh, 40 grand over those 10 years, and then let's say it grew to 250 grand, well, they might give you a, a large percentage of that, but maybe not the whole thing. Because otherwise, why would they do it? Okay. Good morning, Oakland Craig. If you're inquired today, there will be musical references. Really? So term right now, what, what, what my wife and I were doing, are doing is we locked in a five-year term. So we locked in a price for the next five years. But then at the end of those five years, what's going to happen to that cost? It's going to go up, okay, because I'm older and I didn't die, okay? And then so term covers you for a period of time. Whole life policy, you pay for a period of time, and you, it covers you the whole life, okay? So here's what I want you to do tonight. Auto insurance. I want you to research auto insurance and bring something in that either um, that you printed out or maybe a website that you've bookmarked or something like that so we can have a discussion on auto insurance. And I would like you guys to lead that tomorrow. Okay? I'm going to be asking you questions and you guys can ask me questions for clarification. Okay? Okay. So, um, do you guys know if your family has health in, or life insurance at all? Do you have any idea? Good. I have insurance on you guys too. Okay. Okay. I always get nervous when my wife wants to up my life insurance policy. Okay. Do you think that some of your some of the your lifestyle choices would affect your your life insurance policy yeah. cost? Yeah. yeah, like what? If you smoke or not? Okay. What else? Drinking. Drinking. Okay. I think probably so. I, that's a good question. Yeah. What profession you're in? Definitely. Okay. I I know that when Wendy and I were looking at a certain policy, um, they we had to fill out this question. It was long, and. Um, and when, at the time we were racing, and that, that, incre that caused a rate increase uh, for that. Um, so. so anyway, 